Once again, Pastor Bob Reynolds here from the Free Life Community Seventh and Adventist Church in Denver, Colorado. I have another short worship for you again this morning. Um, I want to read from Matthew chapter 5, beginning with verse 14. And it says, You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. And then verse 16, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. <laughs> you know, when I was a teenager, my mother worked in a very unique factory. This factory uh, harvested honey from beehives, and they also made candles out of beeswax. And sometimes we would go down and visit my mother in this place where she worked, maybe during the noon hour, and we'd walk in through the door, and you know, it would smell so sweet. It would just smell so sweet. It was almost too sweet. It was just the sweet honey smell and, and this beeswax. And we would leave there, and we would go someplace maybe two or three hours later, and you know what? That smell would still be with us. The smell would permeate our clothes, permeate, permeate our hair and our skin, and we would smell like whatever we'd been around. You know, it's like cigarette smoke that way too. It kind of permeates, gets in your clothes, and you can tell when someone has been smoking or someone has been around you that smokes. You can tell that even with farmers when they come in from the dirty old barn, you can smell the manure and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> it kind of teaches us a lesson, doesn't it? The lesson would be, you know, whatever you hang around, you kind of carry the effects with you. Whatever, whoever, wherever you go, the habits that you pick up, the language that you hear, the, uh, the addictions or the, or the words that, 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 that are spoken, you kind of carry them around with you. It becomes part of you. And other people can kind of pick up that you've been here or there or with whoever. So let's, let's pay attention to Matthew 5, verse 16, where it says, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven, shall we? Father, I thank you for these great words that Matthew has given us. They are actually words that you spoke, that Jesus spoke when he was here. I pray that we will take them to heart and we will make them a part of us. In Jesus' name, amen.